Welcome back to another Tar Heel Illustrated podcast. I'm THI staff writer Brandon P. Joining me today is our very own Miss Dina King. And Dina, we're here today for another Tar Heel football commitment video. North Carolina got its 14th commitment today from tight end Mr. Timothy Lawson. He comes from Fort Myers, Florida. He's the fourth member of this recruiting class that comes from Florida. He had offers from Arkansas, Baylor, Duke, Georgia Tech, Indiana, Louisville, Pitt, Princeton, Rutgers, South Florida, TCU, Texas A&M, UCF, Virginia Tech, and Yale, a very extensive offer list, a lot of academic schools on there. So, Dean, I just want you to tell me what, what kind of went into Lawson committing to Carolina. Can we take us back into his recruitment? Well, I think the recruitment, him started heating up at the first of the year, uh, the interest uh, between both parties. Uh, he came up in April. April 1st for a visit. He also visited Duke that week, that day as well. Came away with an offer from the Tar Heels. And um, when that offer was made, it just really uh, sped up the recruitment of him. He really enjoyed his time. And, uh, you know, it put tar put the Carolina team, you know, he, he is also a really standout baseball. And North Carolina has had – a uh, great tradition in baseball as well. So uh, since April 1st, it's been really a lot of contact between him and the coaching staff. And so uh, he come up on his official visit this past weekend, had a great time, said it was a great fit for him. His family loved it. He loved the coaches. And so he decided to uh, just basically end his recruitment and decide to become a Tar Heel. Mm. Now, with the tight ends that North Carolina currently have on their roster, they are fond of tight ends who can run and catch the ball really well. What what are some of the things they like about Lawson's game? Well, Lawson told me that, that he thought the staff likes his uh, ability to be big and physical and uh, also his acceleration down the, the field. And as always, they love his hands and, you know, the, the style that North Carolina uses is their tight ends. They they have they love to use those tight ends. And with new offensive coordinator Chip Lindsey, I, I see it continuation, you know, because they've got some great tight ends with Bryson Nesbitt, uh, Kamari Morales, and John Copenhaver. You know, those three guys are really a dynamic trio. Yeah. Lawson sees how they use the tight end, and so he wants to be a part of it. All right, Dina, those are very good points about how Lawson can possibly fit in with the with with North Carolina's uh, how they use a tight how they use their tight ends. Another, he's going to be another tight end from Florida. I think Kamari Morales is already from Florida. He's the fourth Florida kid that North Carolina has got committed into the class. Is that is that intentional? Because you know, back when Mac Brown first started, it was all North Carolina kids or nothing. Now he's got four kids out of Florida. What do you <laughs> think about that? I think it's just part of recruiting. You know, we've me and Andrews talked numerous times about the recruiting footprint, basically from Washington to Atlanta, and we have told folks that you know they're they're going more south into Florida and more west out in Tennessee because the the type of kids that they're going after, and ironically, he's the third straight kid from Florida that has just committed. Peter Pensanke from Tampa committed and Michael Merdinger from Fort Lauderdale committed. And now Timothy Lawson out of Fort Myers, Florida has committed. And you add he, add those three to uh, Davion Galls who are running back in Hollywood, Florida. So four kids from Florida, I asked him if he had been in contact with those guys, because I mean, you know, you got four four out of state kids from Florida. Yeah. Uh, he it seems like the bonding is already getting well old there. Uh, I asked him especially if he had talked to Michael Merdinger, the quarterback, and he said the communication between him and Michael have really uh, accelerated since his commitment. So uh, Merdinger is kind of the ringleader in this class and. Uh, it's good to know that that he is taking ownership of that and and got a text group going and so he's he's a he's definitely 
uh, kid that that a, a kid named kid like Lawson wants to play with and everything. So I think it's a, a huge commitment. Like I said before, he he's also a a baseball guy. He threw a no hitter earlier uh, this season, and he's going to play baseball with for uh, Coach Scott Forbes as well. He won't be an early enrollee because he is a baseball player and he wants to play that senior year in baseball as well. Mm -hmm. So, so, uh, but he's got plenty of time to be a high school kid and uh, he is really excited to be a, a North Carolina Tar Heel. Well, Dina, I think that's a good place to start. Wait, one more question. I hate to put you on the spot like this. But this is the 14th commitment of the class, and I know it's pretty much impossible to answer with the way that the transfer portal uh, works nowadays, but do you know how many kids North Carolina will possibly take when it's all said and done? <laughs> that answer is in the KFC Center. I said <laughs> earlier that they probably could take seven to ten. This, Of course, this was before a loss of commitment. It would put them around – 20 or 22, but they, they got to get some wide receivers. Yeah. That's yeah. one position they've really, and they've got a lot of wide receivers coming in uh, in June for their official visits as well. So they're, they're, they need to get a three or four of those guys. And, you know, I think they're going to leave some spots open for the transfer portal, but I think it's safe to say seven, seven, eight, nine kids or more spots for this class of 2024. I mean, he's got 14, and now you're heading down to straightaway, you know, the main part of the recruiting cycle, to, you know, with all these official visits. So it's a good number to have, you know, majority of your, your guys lined up. Okay. Well, I think that's a good place to stop. For Dina King, I'm Brandon P. This is TarHillIllustrated.com. Thank you for watching.